Guide to the Graphic. Here we have the Earth and its interior structure. In strawberry, we have the crust. In pumpkin, we have the mantle. In red, we have the liquid outer core. And in lemon, we have the solid inner core. Earth's interior structure. The crust, the outermost shell, consists of a broad mixture of rock types. Beneath the oceans, the crust has an average thickness of only five or six miles, whereas beneath the continents, the thickness averages more than three times as much. There is a gradual increase in density with depth in this rigid outer shell. Altogether, the crust makes up less than 1% of Earth's volume and about 0.4% of Earth's weight. At the base of the crust, there is thought to be a significant change in mineral composition. This relatively narrow zone of change is called the Mohorovicic discontinuity, named for the Yugoslavian seismologist A. Mohorovicic, who discovered it, or Moho for short. Beneath the Moho is the mantle, which extends downward to a depth of approximately 1,800 miles. Volumetrically, the mantle is by far the largest of the four shells. Although its depth is only about one-half the distance from the surface to the center of the Earth, its location on the periphery of the sphere gives it a vast breadth. It makes up 84% of the total volume of Earth and about two-thirds of the Earth's total weight. Earth scientists now believe that there are three zones in the mantle. The uppermost zone is relatively thin, but hard and rigid, extending down to about 25 miles beneath the oceanic crust and perhaps 50 miles below the continental crust. This uppermost mantle zone, plus the crust together, are called the lithosphere. Beneath this rigid zone, and extending downward to a depth of possibly 200 miles, is a zone in which the rocks are so hot that they lose much of their strength and are easily formed, like tar. This is called the asthenosphere. Below the asthenosphere is the deep mantle, the mesosphere, where the rocks are believed to be rigid again. Beneath the mantle is the outer core, thought to be molten or liquid and extending to a depth of about 3,100 miles. The innermost portion of the Earth is the inner core, a supposedly solid and very dense mass having a radius of about 900 miles. Both the inner and outer cores are thought to be made of iron and nickel or iron and silicate. These two zones together make up about 15% of Earth's volume and 32% of its weight. And that's the interior structure of the Earth.